What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny well, Morning Show. You were supposed show. to start with the same song that you did a minute ago. Well, I ago. just wanted to start off the show right the first I, like, time. I was so excited to like, start dancing again. I just wanted to get the show right uh, like the, for the first time, because this is the first time we've ever started this show today. Oh, yeah, today absolutely. Uh-huh. For Thursday, there was no other time. March 24th. What's the date? Uh, Jul- uh, July 19th, Thursday. It's 11.03. My name is Andy Cortez, and this is Kevin Coelho, and this is the Kind of Funny Morning Show. All the bo- all the boys are out to play, and the mice will play here, <laughs> here in, in San Couple Francisco. Couple mice running around stealing some cheese. Yeah, you know what I mean? man, you know it, dude. Lactose intolerant though, so yeah. it's gonna hurt us later. Uh, we're gonna be feeling it later, man. But, but let me tell you what: when I took a little uh, took a little weekend vacation with the misses, uh-huh. I'm not married. Why am I saying that? <laughs> Is that what you say? The misses? Yeah, sure. It's fine. You can say with the cute miss? way like that. With the, e- well, with, I mean, with Eve Gilmore. The miss. The miss. The miss. Yeah, because then you're. It's she's not married. The GF. Yeah. The GF. The GF oh, sounds buns. dope. I call my buns. Buns. Okay, I'll call her my buns. Uh, Say it again. I had a little mini weekend getaway with the uh, with the buns recently. I like um, it. And um, before we went to Monterey, California, which is about you know two hour drive. Sure. Stop at a Starbucks. Mm-hmm. And I got me one of them coffees with almond milk. You know the t- that's kind of cool, Greg. White chocolate yeah. mocha. Hell yeah. And I don't think it was almond milk. Sons of bitches. Let me tell you, Kev. The whole trip was almost ruined by me needing to shit. I had to go take a like, little poo-poo. I had to go caca in the restroom I at the aquarium. Like I had to go to the aquarium. They got a great bathroom at the aquarium. The they do. Yeah, they yeah, have yeah, nice yeah. ones. Yeah, I've been there. So I had to go caca there. But um, and I thought it was. I thought fun it was fact, good. Fun fact, Andy. I vomited in that aquarium. In really? The bathroom. Oh, Why? Yeah. Uh, what, so chocolate mocha? IGN does this thing called Coco, which is, is like yeah, uh, the thing we do too. Where yeah, sure, we actually just stole it from them. Where like yeah. everyone go- comes together and they have a big meeting where they talk about like, hey man, this is how the year went. This is what we want for next year. And they did it in Monterey one year, right? And this is the only Coco I ever been to. Did I get wasted? Everybody gets wasted, but oh man, I woke up and there was you were uh, fucking a dolphin. Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. There was a, a cooler in my like hotel room. The cooler that had all the alcohol in it that was in like the big hotel room where they were like, oh, there's a cooler in this thing. And I was like, man, how the fuck did that get here? And they're like, dude, you brought that. You went into that room, said, ain't no one gonna party harder than us, and took it. Oh my God. (laughs) Anyway, so yeah, then we went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium and I was not doing well. Uh, Yeah, Uh, I was hurting. I was hurting all day and, you know, took a little break. You know, we're walking around. Beautiful aquarium. Fantastic little exhibits, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Nice things to look at. Yeah, um, oh, it's lovely. The uh, cool over your head stuff. Oh, where it's beautiful like, oh, man. stuff. Yeah, giant that glass doesn't the, break. Like the the tanks that I love are the ones where you just they're so massive that you can't even imagine being in there and getting lost in there. Seeing all the little uh, the little uh, the little uh, the little uh, little shiny little guys, right? The big packs Squids? of them. The big, no, the big packs of little shiny boys. Oh, the little sardines. shiny fish. Yeah, sardines. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tasty. It's blowing my mind. Like watching them all in their pack and then a little turtle would swim towards them and they would just all look like a big amoeba mm-hmm. kind of flying mm-hmm. through the world. It, it really opened my eyes and I was like, wow, these things are real. Because I never thought uh, sea life was real. I always thought it was just a myth. Mm-hmm. And to see them in real life. Here's the thing about sea life. Shocking. Is shocking. Like, it's so cool to see it in real life, but then you're in a lake and you're like, fuck, that might be around me right now. I'm out. I'm out, you know what I mean? There was some big ass shit in there. Yeah. 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 So I needed to poop all day. Yeah. How much, Trip, how much fish poop ruined. do you think is in there? Trip, uh, like a lot? Uh, a couple ounces, maybe. That's not that much. You got coffee spray yeah, all over. Yeah, a little coffee spray. Um, so yeah, pooping all day. And then we leave, and I'm like, okay, I pooped once. And we're walking in the street back to the hotel. Pooping all day, you pooped once. Which one is it? It can't be both. No, needing, needing to poop all day. Oh, feeling okay, pain yeah. all day. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, feeling pain. Um, and then now, we're walking. Now, real quick, real quick. Did, did your GF know? Oh yeah, oh, I was telling her. I was oh, like, okay, I'm good. not feeling good yeah. right now. And she was like, maybe they put milk instead of almond milk in your coffee. I was like, you, they probably did because I feel like ass right now. So a bunch of butt shit everywhere, Kevin. Oh, and I God. and I walk in and uh, we, we see a Starbucks in the area and I'm like, mm-hmm. I need to go pay them back, right? Sure. I need to, I'm gonna go poop in there and right, it's not the yeah. same Starbucks, granted. Right, 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 right. But same employees, you know? The one that I got the Starbucks at was actually at uh, um, this mall. What's it called again? Snowtown? Snowtown, yeah, Snowtown. Mm, inside the Target? Yeah. That's the one with that oh, wait, was inside the Target. Oh yeah. we don't go to that one. Usually we go to the one in the food court at Stonestown. That that's the origin of all of this. So then I go to the Starbucks there in Monterey and I'm like, mm. all right, I'm gonna you're gonna I'm gonna need my revenge. Yeah. <laughs> Stop in the restroom uh, and immediately feel better, right? 
I walk out of there feeling relieved to like my no more stomach pain. But I feel like there's still one more left. Huh. One more I, I gotta like get this out of me. Story. I really want it to be in. Like, we get back end. to the hotel and it was like, here's the final countdown. It was the final one. And from then on, it felt great. We ate at a fantastic place called Chart House. Uh, Chart great House. steaks. I think I've been there. I didn't I eat. I didn't eat try. a steak, but I've heard no? the steaks are good. Yeah. What did you have? Um, I had a lot of shrimp. I had shrimp pasta. You do love that these, shrimp. These shrimps, you Kevin. Love shrimp. I swear to fucking Christ, prawns. they were this big. Yeah, I think that was just a lobster then. No, you were eating a lobster. <laughs> there was one of them. Yeah. Normally, you get a lot of shrimp. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was a plenty of real, real quick. Big to, shrimp. To go back to what you were saying about almond milk, um, I was reading a, a report about. Uh, I think it was the uh, the one that controls food. FDC, FCC, F- one of those, right? Um, SEC, the Southeastern Conference. That's where all the, the big powers are. In but co- they were saying they're going to be a lot stricter about what qualifies as milk because an almond does not lactate. So be ready for that shit. Almond milk, it's not a term we're going to be using in a year. (laughs) You can... Can you pinch almonds to get milk out, or...? No. Uh, I think you have to crush them. uh, You know? Hmm. Lactate. Such a... FDA. Kind of a gross word. FDA. I thought it was SEC. I'm pretty sure it was right. You know I milked the cat ones? You hear that story? A lot of people are saying almond milk. um, Because they're making fun of the fact that I'm saying al instead of all. Almond. It's al- almond. Almond milk. milk. Depends on where you're from. But I mean, it's, there's an A and an L. Right? Yeah. Like Al Borland. Just like Al Borland. Or Al Bundy. You don't call him All Bundy. <laughs> right? All right. Should we get into the housekeeping? I don't know. How about, what are you thinking? Housekeeping? You want me to jerk you off? What kind of hotel is this? There we go. Housekeeping. I figured we were going to get into it anyway. Yeah. It was, you know, it was I mean, inevitable. We have these cool graphics. Should we raise the volume of that little speaker? Maybe. It's inevitable that we're going to get there. As long as you pronounce the L. Why? Some people say almond? Almond? Like without the L? We're doing the housekeeping now. You got to move on. You got to move on. Can we start the show over again? Only if you start with the music again. They missed it. That was such a great... You did such a you It was Gwen Stefani's Hall of Back Girl. I tweeted about it over the weekend when mm-hmm. I was in Monterey. Yeah. Because we heard it at one of the restaurants and it was just a delight. Mm-hmm. Gwen Stefani. No, no, you know what? It was at a candy shop. One of these little sweet places, little sweet treat houses. I think it's called uh, Sugars, and it looked like a strip club. It they lo- sold candy? It's a candy shop, and it's like, this seems like, you know, obviously it's like a kid's store, but all of the imagery around the walls, Kevin, very suggestive. Like, sexy women licking on lollipops, really good-looking shirtless men with candy. And I was like, what is this store? And they all, some candy? You know what they had? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got a lot of jelly it bellies. Works, Got a bunch of jelly bellies. Jelly bellies are fine. Um, you get the sour ones or the regular kind? I had the little, um, the little pick, pick as you go, pick as you want. Did you pick a lot of sour ones or you just get the regular no, ones? No, 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 no. Not a huge fan of sour. I mean, you know, it's whatever. Sour, dude. I eat sour all day. No, but I'm talking about the big wall with the dispensers. Mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. So I got some cherry. Um, pear, one of my favorite jelly bellies. Got a bunch of pear. Tutti Fruity. How do you feel about the peach one? Peach one. Yeah. I don't think I've ever tried the peach one. It's good. No, you know what? I probably have because it's, in, it's always in the assorted fruit yeah. bag. It's, it's, I believe it's like white with like orangey specks and maybe a couple brown. I have had it. It's fantastic. Yeah. The kiwi is great. Tutti Frutti is fantastic because it tastes like uh, juicy fruit gum. Mm-hmm. And I think that there's a lawsuit to be had there because they are identical in taste, Kevin. And I mean, I'll I, vouch I for think, them. I think that that's, that was the point. I'll know? vouch for Wrigley's, yeah. man. Um, but anyway, okay, uh, housekeeping, sorry about that. We already did um, the graphic, we don't need to do it again. Yeah. Um, well, let's, let's talk about um, this show that nobody watches. The anyway. guys are in San Diego right now to, uh, for Comic-Con, but also uh, for a separate event, they are talking about uh, Rocket League's third birthday. The second one, cool, Greg. Oh, the second one. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh-huh. Um, and so, yeah, watch Party Mode, because the latest Party Mode that's up right now to we the public. We need to play more Rocket League in the office it was fun. as friends. It was fun. Because it is a lot of fun. Uh, this uh, party mode, cool, Greg. Go ahead and bring it up. Go ahead and bring it up. Um, for the first three matches, it was me and Tim against Nick and Greg, and then Nick no, and no Greg. Audio. Sp- Nick, no, we need audio. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Nick, I'm sorry. Nick and Greg split at the very, very end. So this is Tim and Nick against me and Greg, and Tim was not having a good time because Nick is very bad. But go ahead and play it, uh, cool, Greg. Dude. Why is Greg shirtless? I forgot that he goes shirtless. Yeah. It's inevitable that's gonna happen. But right here, I think, I believe Tim gets a good score and then... 
some unfortunate things happened to Tim and Nick's team. That was clean, that was clean. Here we go, watch. I did something well for once. Oh, come on. That's the hit I'm looking for. What the fuck? Oh, hey, shit. hold on. <laughs> Who's t turning on other PlayStation 4s now? Probably my, my, my wife. Oh. <laughs> well, your wife just logged you out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up playing the match just, yeah. the rest of the match was me and Greg against Tim. Yeah. Or me and, uh, yeah, me and Greg against Tim. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Nick, uh, you know, Nick was already doing bad and he somehow got worse. But I think Tim's team was, the, ended up doing a little bit better without Nick. There was less of a liability there. You that know? doesn't make any sense at all. But somehow, hey, it somehow it makes happened. sense. I am loving this new emoji you made, the shirtless Spider-Man emoji. You Thanks, it. man. You killed it. Thanks, man. It was a uh, it was a tough one last time. We were trying to make a, a Great Wall of Kev one. Uh huh. It it just wasn't coming out good. Uh huh. Uh, it was hard to make it read well when it gets super small. You know what I mean? That and makes so sense. I I put I tabled it. I'm gonna get back to it. There will be a Great Wall hey, of Kevin emote. No rush, dude. Take your time. The kids. Do they want it? I don't know. There's, uh, there's, they're all excited about the new ones. Yeah, exactly. The so, timeout is fantastic. Sithy too. Warlock uh, put up the timeout emote, so I'm gonna time out Sithy Warlock, just as an example, um, and then we, I'm gonna untime him out immediately. Just do a 10 second timeout. Um, okay, yeah, we'll do 10 seconds, and then uh, so everybody can throw up the timeout emotes whenever somebody gets timed out here. Uh, we got the Bongos emote. Uh, yeah, um, we Xavier sure Woods do. commish. Um, yeah, I made a, I made like five last night. Yeah, and there will be more because there are plenty of slots available. So will we get uh, a milk mommy emote? Probably. No. Will we get? Um, there was a lot of great suggestions from chat last night. Like a oh a ten forty five one or eleven forty five to sort of warm. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. Get Nick. Oh I yeah. love that. That's a hilarious. great fantastic Dude, idea. Dude, that's so smart. So everybody in the chat last night was really really helpful and contributing a lot of awesome ideas. Um, some not so much. Some people I had to time out because it's just like, sure. get out of my face. But hey, that's where the time out came from. So you time know what out emote is for. Um, so yeah, thanks for that, guys. Uh, we will get a Joester emote. Joester, also, she has the wine emote for now, but she'll get an emote as well. Is, um, there, a, is there anything in the wine? Like a carrot? Maybe, maybe a carrot? No, but maybe I drew one while I was making it and uh, told them to send it to you. It in there. I sent, told them to send it to you. They didn't send it to me. Um, awesome. All right, next piece of housekeeping. Is the XCU in review... Uh, that's right, it's Thursday, which means there's a new XCU in review, and it's uh, the, Wolverine. the Wolverine. Now, we watched the unrated, unleashed version, and that's what we would recommend for you to watch, because it is better than the regular version. Did it rank high? Did it rank low? Watch the XCU. Not now, though. Watch it later. Yeah, watch it later. Find out. Uh, can you rewind really quick, Cool Greg? Just a what little, like, doing? maybe 10 seconds. Did you see my face? Yeah, what were you I look like the cat meme. <laughs> when the Wait. cat's like that, like, looking, you know, you know that meme? <laughs> what am I doing? What was that all about? Oh, man. I don't know. It was a good episode, though. Yeah, it was a great I, episode. Was a lot of laughs. I enjoyed it, yeah. There were a lot of laughs. I didn't get the outcome that I wanted with where it would place, but, you know, just watch the episode. Bad opinions, you know what You'll I mean? see why I was right. You know, you Thor's, better, Thor's better than Incredible Hulk, you know. Um, true. Incredible Hulk's great. The villain in Incredible Hulk, Abomination, before he turns into Abomination, real fucking cool. Real, and even after Abom Abomination himself's not that bad. Don't make faces, dude. I can see you. I'm not making faces. Andy, did you talk about the Spurs Raptor trade? No, but maybe we're going to do all sorts of sports in 15 seconds sometime today. And maybe I'll talk about it. Do we have any more housekeeping? I think yeah, that's it. it changed. Oh, the San Diego one. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. talk about San Diego as the housekeeping. Uh, the boys are there. That's why we're here. And that's why uh, Games Daily, you're going to have a very special Games Daily coming up next with uh, special guests, Snowbike Mike and Cheeks Jr. himself. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. Can't Mike and Mike. Play. Mike yeah. and Mike in the morning. Yeah. That's well, why I didn't use Mike for the names. I could Mike at noon, I guess. Um, but yeah, the boys are over there in San Diego doing a lot of stuff with Rocket League. But uh, Greg is also hosting the Marvel Games panel in Hall H, which is a huge fucking is deal. Is that today at 1 p.m.? That is today at 1 p.m. Yeah. I texted Greg it's this morning. Shit. Greg, he, he, Greg knows. Did you see Greg's tweet last night? Where he no. said, guys, oh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, everything true. now. You're not going to want to miss this Marvel Games panel. Ooh, so I texted, him, I texted him, Greg, what's going on? 
He told me everything, Kevin. Oh, he told fuck. me for real? everything, That's why Kevin. That's number one games journalist, dude. I know. Dude. Hey, I know. Shaq was right. Shaq was right. <laughs> Shaq was right, dude. Maybe that could be a new uh, emote. Shaq was right. I don't know about everything. I don't know if he's right about everything, but. Well, he was right about you. Oh, I yeah. don't know any of his other. He saw something special in me. Yeah. Is what I like sure to think. He sure did. Man, remember when he almost crushed your skull? Yeah. I got so scared. Yeah. But also wasn't willing to help. No, well, if you push in right here, yeah. there's a piece of my skull that kind of goes in, and I'm, you know, Why? is it, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. That's not good. Yeah. You ready for some news? Sure. The news. The news. The news. It's a great show now, so far. Andy, I'm going to ask you to be a little more enthusiastic when we talk about the news. This is a fantastic show so far. Yeah, we're killing it. I think this is one of the best shows. I mean, that's what a lot of people in chat are saying. Yeah. Cool Greg gave me a look like he doesn't necessarily agree, but... Are these in the right order? I think they're in the right order. Yeah. Just double checking, guys. Just double checking. All right, the first news story, an important one. Not really. No, not But really. here it is. Justice League confirms no plans to release the Snyder Cut. Snyder Cut. Greg somewhere is upset. Maybe? I don't know. Does he even care about the Snyder Cut? I feel like at first he was jokingly being like, hey, I want to see the Snyder Cut version. It'll make it better. And then as time progressed, he was like, man, sounds like the Snyder Cut has a lot of cool stuff. Um, waiter, do you uh, prefer the halibut or the salmon? I do prefer this, the halibut. Is a, it is a grown here in, in Alaska, but I do prefer the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut is a very, that's what it reminds you of. You ever heard of Snyder Cut? Like, uh, he, like yeah, hearing that yeah, sounds yeah. like a fish. It sounds like a halibut sort of fish. Oh, my screen turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's all I got about this news story, really. I just yeah. wanted to make a little so, skit about it. I mean, it. it's just, it's, hey man, if you were waiting to see Zack Snyder's cut that makes it a good movie, it, it doesn't exist. Here's what, here's, what are you gonna do? here's the thing though, Kevin. This, I'm listening. And I'm going to make a sports analogy to this. This won't count towards my 15 seconds. It's just an analogy, okay? Here's what a lot of here's what a lot of athletes do, Kevin. I am telling you. Oh fuck. Okay. Here's what a lot of athletes do. Uh huh. Or, or a lot of fans of sports teams do. If your best player is hurt, and then your team loses, mm -hmm. you always have the excuse that like, oh, we would have won if our best player wasn't hurt, right? Uh, is it? That's an excuse. Quick question. And like, this is I'm not trying to insult you, okay. but did the Spurs not have that excuse? Yeah. This year? Yeah. Was it this year or last year? This year. Yeah, this past year. Okay. And now his, now his bitch house in Toronto. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll about talk about that, that we'll too. Talk about <laughs> we'll talk about that too. Um, you look upset though. Like you're, you're teared up a little bit. <laughs> I'm raging. I'm raging inside. <laughs> I can feel no, it. No, I'm happy. I'm happy he's gone. Yeah. I, I, wish, I wish him nothing but the best, but I hope he has a terrible season. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so that's the excuse that happens. This is the excuse that the hardcore Justice League fans can have, Kevin. They mm -hmm. can say, you know what? We never saw the Snyder Cut, oh, and I dude. bet you it's the best movie what, ever. No, but that's, that's already the excuse. Like, that's what they're already saying. Yeah, but now the fact that nobody will ever see it. Yeah. If we would have seen it, and it probably would have been bad, they would have been like, fuck. Right? But now the fact that nobody will ever see it, they will bank on this for the rest of their life that the Snyder Cut was going to you be the Justice best movie League, ever. Right? Yeah, we saw it all together. Dude. Like, how cool was it when Superman... Like, not a good movie, but how cool was the it when Superman scene? was like, oh shit, I'm evil, and fucking starts going to town on all these kids. It's cool. <laughs> it was cool. really cool. It's pretty cool. One of the only cool parts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Remember there, when he uh, fights the CGI monster? And it's just like, all right, yeah, he's Stephen much stronger Wolf. than him. Yeah, God damn, he looked terrible. Yeah. But the lead up to the Superman becoming bad scene, that's where it was like, mm -hmm. this whole movie's just not very good. A lot of bad dialogue choices. A lot of bad dialogue. Bad writing, bad pacing. Bad everything. DC yeah. has got to figure it out. But then the, the Flash scene with Superman where he sees Flash. Yeah. And Flash. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, like one of the really best good. scenes that in any good. like superhero good. movie. Because it was like, oh man, here's Flash's ace in the hole. He's real fast. And, uh, Superman's also real fast. Huh? Wing fan says we didn't fuck that up hard. Did Look. he? Or did years of poor DC movie making fuck that up hard? Or did we? Or did we not do as good of a job as he could have done? I think he did making the best. a bad movie better. Yeah, because that's the thing. He didn't direct this whole movie. He just picked up when uh, they did a lot of reshoots. Yeah, I know, but, but like, that's you the can't thing. They're gonna, the but movie, they're gonna yeah. bank on this. Like the fact that we'll never see it now. There's no proof that this was not the best movie ever made. Yeah, but Zack Snyder had how many attempts? You know? Yeah. Like this wasn't his first DC movie. You know? Yeah, that's true. And none of the ones, the other ones were good. I'm gonna say it. Not Batman good at all. Superman? 
Not good at all? Not good. Wow. Superman Returns? No, wait, wait, what was it at all? What Superman Begins? Su- no. Superman Lives? No, nah, Superman Forever. Is something. <laughs> uh, the Return, no. Uh, su- uh, oh, Man of Steel. That's it. You were really off. Superman I, I Returns? I put you in that, in that place, though. That was my Superman fault. Returns from the Dead. Yeah. Um, Which sucks, I love Superman. That's yeah, I don't know. So, right. I do feel, I do, there's a part of me that does feel bad for the, the hardcore Justice League fan that wanted to see the cut of the movie that they think is probably better than what came out. I don't. I highly doubt it would have been better, and if it was, it still wouldn't have been very good. But they can bank on that for the rest of their life that the Snyder Cut is the best movie that nobody will ever see, and I think Whatever. that's best for their argument. Sure. Because it coming out. But the fact is, Andy would have proved them wrong. I believe. If they had made a, a cohesive universe that mattered, people would talk about it in 15, 20 years. But they won't. You know. They, that's a great point. Yeah. So. Well, we're gonna knock them in. Too. You know. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. I'm sure they won't fuck it up in the third act. I mean, why? Wait, why? Why just the third act? Oh, because Wonder Woman was a pretty good movie till the third act when it's like, hey, we're gone. It wasn't at that us. bad. Huh? The it third was, act? It wasn't that bad. When it's like, what are Ares's like power set? Like, what's what? What can he do? Because he's floating and everything's flying around. And is Wonder Woman also have those powers? What's happening? Have here? you ever had a power? Yeah. You do it. I, I have a power. You fucking make, make it. Make something, I'll fix it. You do it. You fucking do it. What, where do you think uh, Wonder Woman lies against the MCU? Like, do you think it would be middle of the pack if it was an MCU movie? Because Wonder Woman is the best of the DCEU, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, not, not even a question there. There are cool moments in the other movies. Right, I mean, every movie's gotta have at least a couple of cool yeah. moments. But I think it would probably be... Ugh. Like, I don't know, it's uh, tough. I need to look at the list. Bob Iron Man, maybe under no, first Iron Man. Really? Under Iron Man, yeah. Iron Man also has a weak third act, but not that weak. Hmm. Like Obadiah coming out and being like, I've got a giant Iron Man suit. Terrible. It, it was like, yeah, it was terrible. Really it was bad. like, all right, cool. This businessman is now on like a murder spree. Sure, whatever. Horrible. Yeah. Uh, Tom Box says, Kevin has power over all um, umbrellas. Is that you? Tom, I don't know what the hell you're referring to. Umbrellas. Tom Box, fucking, I'm going to time you out. Uh, yeah, I just, I just switched to an umbrella too. I'm gonna time out Tom Bach, guys. Yeah. I mean, enough for this. Enough for this Tom Bach Toner! guy. You're getting timed out for five <laughs> Chad seconds. Chad saying, Toner! Say it. Get Say it the way he says it. Toner! No, no, I can't do fuck, it. Wow, no. that was really bad. Toner! No, stop! Toner! Stop trying. Cool, Greg. Uh, can you do the uh, No, actually, sorry, never mind. Let's, let's do this story. Or actually, do you want to cut this one? I feel like. I'm not feeling the story right now. The cat's brought it up a bunch of times. What, oh, this? he's talking about yeah. your drink. You have the umbrella. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Tom. I, I ended up seeing his comment. He said, his fucking drink, you dopes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard it. I haven't, <laughs> he got his gun. I haven't heard dope as, <laughs> a, as a noun in so long. It's always been the, the verb, or no, the adjective, like, that's dope, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dope. I've never heard... I have even that. I haven't heard smoking dope in forever. I use dope a lot of stuff. But I haven't heard anybody call somebody a dope in ages, and I love it. They're inviting friends over, apparently. Oh, sh- fuck. Jesus, we got a bunch of. Oh, God damn it. Jesus, this guy's taking over the office. Freaking freak on a leash, it's man. Snowbike Mike, man. He's throwing a party here. Jesus Christ. He's at all the entourage. Throw a party? What? You know? Barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, wait, I can't barbecue. What do you mean? I mean no milk. No, yeah, no, no milk? milk? No cheese. All right, I'm done. I'm done. All right, let's do this next story. Um, there's a Mr. Glass 15 trailer tease. What does that mean? It's a fi- yeah, let's play it. 15 uh, seconds. 15 t- second. Why? I feel like you could have written that better, IGN. Mr. It looks like it's Mr. Glass 15. Yeah. Put a space after glass. Uh, after well, the no, colon. put seconds in there. Sim- Give me some context. Let's play. Let's play it. I'm a comic book expert. I greet the extraordinary. Show the world what we are capable of. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, I guess if they w- they put it as a trailer tease for tomorrow, we wouldn't have watched it. You know well, what I mean? I think we played it yesterday. Uh, uh, well, I don't watch the we show. We saw so. this two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> that, was an an- that was an Andy story. No, it was not. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the next story. Next news story. I mean, fuck, did they already do this one too? What is it? 
the next story I think is super exciting. <laughs> I think this next story is super exciting. Cool, Greg, bring it up. Oh, it's already up. Zombieland 2 gets an official release date. Are you excited for another Zombieland? No, not really. Really? What? Not really. What? It's whatever. I Are mean, you kidding? I, it's fine. Can you have like, a serious thought? Like, I need to be more excited. The first Zombieland was like a fine, was good a movie. Was a fine, good? It was an excellent movie that I like, when we left, I was like, I want to be in this universe more. In this world. In this is land. Zombie sure, land. this land. Yeah, the zombie land. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's cool, Greg. Uh, man, I'm glad you're Oct excited. October 11th, that's right around the corner, dude. I can't fucking believe the first one came out almost 10 years ago. That's crazy. 2009? Yeah, that's crazy. Holy shit. But how did this movie go from fucking me not knowing it was going to happen, like what, a month ago? To like October 11th. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe that. Also, it gave us one of the best, like, um... What is it called when like the the movie starts and you see the credits in the beginning? You know, uh, oh, just like a uh, like an intro scene. Like yeah, a, like well, it started a fad, like where everyone was doing the like, oh, everything's slowing down, and like, hey, uh, here's a name. Deadpool did it. Yeah. Okay. You know? Interesting. Like they started it. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I can't believe that. That means that what Zombieland was 2009. So the Social Network was what 2007, 2008. I don't know. That's insane. Jesse Eisenberg has been on the scene for that long. Oh shit, 2019, Kevin. It's 2018. Oh, that sucks. Damn, that really sucks. Oh, you thought it was this year? I thought it was this year. Oh. Damn. That's heartbreaking. The opening crawl is what Mormon Mafia. Opening crawl, that's yeah. it. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah. Mormon Mafia. Yeah. Joey, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Oh. Are you switching out for what's his face? When he when he comes back, can you get me some water? Joey, don't promise him anything. Well, I just, or you could just be like, sure, I'll get you water. I'll get you water when you're on the fucking show. Do you? I feel like Cool Greg does. I don't feel like I really ever ask you to do anything. We do the next news story? Yeah. Joey, throw this story on if you want to, I guess. This is extremely exciting news. Comcast drops out of bidding. Bidding war with Disney for the thank. Fucking God. For Fox. For Fox. God, it was harder to say than I wanted it to. Sure, yeah. There's a lot of words there yeah, yeah, in that yeah, title. Yeah. So this is one step closer to Disney full-on buying Fox. Bringing the XCU universe into the MC universe. And that's all I want. Well, Comcast was always the highest, like, the, the only real competitor, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That we know of. Right. Who knows? Maybe some overseas company is prepping everything to offer more than $70 billion. Uh, what's that one? Alibaba? With a B. That's what I was thinking, too. Um, They're not doing well stock-wise. Really? Yeah. Huh. They own a lot of stuff, huh? Yeah. A lot of stuff. Big company. It's kind of bullshit, right? Well, it's, it's the, like, Asia's... What, what are they hiding from us, is what I'm wondering. I don't, I don't think they're hiding anything. It's them and uh, Tencent. Yeah. Too big. Too big. Too big to fail. I was about to say that. You right? put the words out of my mouth. Hell yeah. So, dude. I mean, are you excited at the possibility that things of are getting course. easier for Disney to finally fucking own... Fox, so that we can get some good Marvel movies. Of course, or some I, good. Uh, I want to see a good Fantastic Four movie. Yeah. Um, see, that's the thing. I'm not even considering those movies are so bad that I'm not even. I didn't watch. They're not, they're not on your radar. I didn't watch the other ones, the mm. the re, the the newer ones. Oh, with the um, with the drummer guy. Yeah, drummer guy. Drummer guy yeah, and man, that's uh, the guy. Rooney um, Rooney Mara. No, what's her face? Yeah, she was in it too. She was in it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael B. Jordan. Yes, that's yeah. an easy one where we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a good one. Kate Mara. Yeah, that's what I said. Got it. That's what I said. That's what I heard. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hopefully, the little problems they got going. On. Do, you, do you know what's going on with the Disney, mer the Fox merger? That like some of the Fox people are suing Disney because they think that it's the the offer is undervalued because Hulu wasn't properly appraised. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And it's like, nobody fucking likes Hulu. Nobody likes Hulu. Really? I don't like Hulu. All these I feel like a lot everywhere. of people like... Get the fuck out of here. I, I like, like Hulu. Yeah, yeah I feel it's because like you got ad free. Like yeah. Well, then... <laughs> well, she won't share the login with me. <laughs> That's not even true. I willingly told you. She could slack it to me at any point well, right sure, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have a lot of things to remember, Kevin. Oh, man. That's true, Joey. Nobody uh, forgets that. Hmm. Hmm. I like Hulu. I don't like it. It's too many services. Hulu is my only way that I can, like... Watch 
Live because my TV? background noise, no, not even live TV. My background noise, my background show that I just have on in the background. Seinfeld. Um, so, oh, Seinfeld was one of them. Yeah. Um, but just like, started rewatching that with Paul. Old episodes of like Family Guy and American Dad. Oh, those shit. are those are like yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, my yeah. comfort food. That's kind of like. But a like, guilty why doesn't pleasure. Netflix have them? Because Hulu exists. Yeah. You know. They used to have them. I know. I remember Bullshit, those days. Yeah. I used to watch them there. Yeah. Uh, the thing is. DC's been talking a lot about their streaming service, and I think we have some news about that. But man, I really wanted them to just merge it with Hulu once they owned controlling stock of Hulu, and just just one service instead of two multiple services. You know, make life simple for everyone. I can't wait. Speaking of which, Kevin, forgot I had a subscription to Funimation. Now, oh, do you, last night is that anime? No, no, I know, but is that kind of funny subscription, or you have your own? Oh, I have my own. Oh, God, we have one? has one, yeah. Oh, fuck. I should borrow it. Yeah. Um, I started watching a little show last night. <laughs> Fucking Joey just walked out with it. My no Hero water. Academia. Oh, I've heard a lot of good things. I really want to start watching. I've heard a lot of good things. I'm two episodes in. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm sold. It's still, you got to you, you, you re- gotta realize that it's still anime, right? It's sure, still got sure. wacky, well, oh, my God. You know, like, you know, they... But, I mean, you just got to learn a lot of those things, you know? That's just part of yeah. it, right? But I'm Joey! really digging... What it's doing so far, yeah, and it's setting up for I've heard like only a wild good things ride. For people I respect, so hmm? I can't wait. I can't uh, wait to keep watching. Yeah, a lot of people in chat are like, "Let's go, baby." Yeah, cool, Rick. You get me a nice water, but you also have to open the story up. Actually, don't get it for me. I don't need it. Andy, uh, yes, yes. IJ asks Andy sub or dub. I'm not gonna tell you because I, anything I say, people Why are gonna not, make fun dude? of me. It's just like all right, watching dubbed. Yeah, because it's easier, man. He's playing video games. He's making emojis. No, here's the problem why. Because I started watching uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans Gundam. Uh-huh. And the t- two of the main characters sound so identical. Uh-huh. And I didn't know who was talking. Sure. So I was like reading the subtitle. Like, okay, who's talking right now? So that, you know. I watched Dragon Ball Z dub my whole life. I, I you know, I'm mm-hmm. good with dub. I still have subtitles on. I don't, you know what I mean? You still have them on? Yeah. But they don't match always. Doesn't that drive you crazy? Yeah, they do. Really? On Funimation, they do. Oh, uh, okay. Mr. Ponton says, My Hero Academia is overrated. Well, okay. I was looking for your opinion, Mr. Ponton, so now I'm going to stop watching it. So, thank you. Andy, time him out. You're getting timed out. You're getting timed out. 15 seconds, Mr. please. Mr. Ponton, what's his name? I don't know. Uh, fuck, I, f- I lost his goddamn name. Um, uh, uh, he said, oh, Mr. Ponton, yeah. Mr. Ponton, you're getting fucking timed out, dude. I've had enough of you, dude. Um, These next stories, there's three of them, and they're just kind of cool stuff that I wanted to inform the world is existing. Go ahead and open up this first one. Company announces release of a new flying car. Oh, somebody already timed him out. Good job. Tight. You seen this flying car? No. Look at this thing. But then untime him out, if you can. Untime out Mr. Ponton, because I'm just joking. Cool guys, scroll down. Is there a video? Is there a video? I think there's a video. We are getting closer to our dreams of living the... Yeah, sure. Uh, this is full screen while we talk about it. I would just never ever want to test anything like this out. Yeah, okay, but like, assume that the testing eventually will be done one day. And this is just standard shit. Thank you very much, Cool Greg. Oh, my umbrella. <laughs> it's still overrated, <laughs> yo, says Mr. Fata. <laughs> Time down again. <laughs> no, okay. Wait, you seeing this? This is fucking terrifying. Terrifying? Yeah. Once they've got the science down, you wouldn't be in? You wouldn't rather fly here in two minutes than drive in ten? I would rather a bunch of zombies try to come after me and me use all those propellers to cut their heads off. No, that's not how we're Holy shit. Work. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. Yeah. This is really fucking cool. Yeah. But how... And because it's flying, it, it, like the 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 they rotate to allow it to, to go up. That's so cool. It's fucking rad, man. Propeller technology he just keeps getting better and better. And I don't know if you've been on the the flying car hype train for as long as I have, but that's always what's been pe- holding it all back. Because propellers are too heavy for oh, the, to okay. bring up the cars. I see. And also, there's a whole bunch of like they all have to be in sync, and if they're off, everyone dies. Not um, enough trunk space. Uh, yeah, sure. They'll. You, you do you remember the first car, the Model T? And that wasn't even the first car. It had a lot of problems. They figured it out. Now we've got the Tesla. It's all trunk space. It doesn't have an engine. I Ooh, love that. The, I love that the bottom yeah, is sort of curved. 
to to sort of cause for this sort of rolled little landing. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it yeah. isn't like I'm not gonna lie, the rolled landing seems like it feels really good. Right? Yeah, like oh. <laughs> you, have you ever just been in an airplane, Kevin? Uh yeah, many times. Cool. Now would no, you I was gonna ask just you. drive the airplane? <laughs> no, I was gonna ask you. Um do you remember the first time you experienced like your softest landing of all time? Where you're yes. in an airplane, it's like I yeah, didn't yeah, even it's know. It's like, where... did he land? Yeah. Yeah. And now have you had the opposite? Oh my where god. It's the yes. hardest landing where it's yes. like, oh my god. I think I was uh I think I was coming back from Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And the landing like caused everybody to wake up because it was a very 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 early flight mm -hmm. And it was just like Almost as if we just fell down from 10 feet. Yeah, and it was just and everything fucking moved and ah, like everybody screamed and shit It scared me so much. Did the, did the pilot apologize? Was, yeah, sorry about that. Those are stronger women I anticipated. No, he was like uh, Man up bitch is what he said <laughs> <laughs> he said it in the microphone. Right. So Andy, I know yeah. what you're thinking. You saw that flying car and you were like, first of all, it doesn't have wheels. Does that count as a car? Maybe not. I don't know. And you're like, hey, I noticed that only one person can sit in it. Like, why would I want to have that vehicle? All right, so we've got something else for you. Oh, cool, God. Greg, please bring up the Green Goblin style jet powered hoverboard. Shut your fucking <laughs> face. Going at 103 miles an hour. That's such bullshit. Oh my God. Yeah, is there a video to this one too? Just a GIF maybe? No, nah, there's a video. Oh my god. There we go. Let's in watch 8K, this Let's watch one. it in 8K, dude. No, we can't. The oh, computer shit. can't handle that. Go ahead and fast forward this little kid. I want to see fucking skid on Look oh at this. Oh my god. What? Oh no. What? Remember they did it with like water jets? They don't need the water jets anymore. Oh, look now, at Now, you the... scared of this? Or is this something you'd want to be like, you'd, I'm in? Um, if no, I had I'm a guarantee... I'm saying the beta testing is done. They're uh, for sale. It's $30,000. But you won the lottery, so you've got extra money to throw around. Are you buying one of these bad boys? I would do it if um, if they had like good airbag technology, like in the suit, yeah. like yeah. I, like, or maybe I'm just covered in airbags. Now here's my question: Did you watch uh, Speed Racer? The uh, highly the, recommended by the, everyone. The, the, the here, with the exception of Nick. Nick hates it. Right? Taste the movies. No, on I Netflix did not. right now. So they have this cool technology when the cars crash, it fills them up with foam, and then mm. it makes this like foam pellet where they're inside. Oh, I see. I sh I'm sure they can figure that out by the time this becomes retail. Look at how high this man oh, is. Oh, yeah. He could very easily die at any point. He's still in the beta, you know what I mean? This might be the alpha. He no, might, be, he might have died at the end of the video. Oh, look, look they've at got the, the water jet one. Dude. Look at it. It's like the fucking cave. What the fuck? Is that a jet ski? When did this technology come? <laughs> did you see that? What is happening? They also have a jet ski. <laughs> Version. It's like a fucking. It's like the caveman looking at the guy who's like, "Look, I figured out wheels. You don't know what the hell you're using. Look at you with your old technology. The cops aren't happy about it." No, I think the cops have to. Did be they high five? Sure no yeah, I think they did. I would love for him Could to like. Can you rewind just a little bit? I want to see if they high five. Hover over the man. A little bit, the, just a little bit further. But there we go. Hold on. Hold on. Scald his face off. Here we go. Here it comes. Nobody talk. Oh, no, oh, no, it was no, close. No, yeah. No, he was just kind of giving yeah. them like, yeah, you fucking go flying, man. This is crazy. We're getting closer and closer to the cooler future that, like, I don't know. What? <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good one. Okay, I'll wait for it. What's that one movie about the, the androids? Ghost Dad? No, 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 the I androids. No, it's not it either. Although iRobots had good flying cars. The iRobots promised Blade us. Blade Runner is what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Neon lights and shit. Yeah. That little jet ski looked more Blade Runner than, than anything you else. You know what I always loved? Minority Report, the movie? Yes. That's good, right? That's what I was going to say. Yeah. The, their transportation system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On like, the walls yeah. and shit. Really, really cool. cool. I, love I always that. assumed it was magnets. Really? Yeah. No, they're just on a track. Right? Were they on the track? But like, oh, but they were lanes. shifting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, the last news story before we go to the big topic, uh, bring it up. It's just something cool that uh, if somebody wants to get for the office, I'll build. Uh, I don't want to make a big deal. Oh, this about isn't it, a news story. Well, I mean, it's it's like a news story because uh, did you know that the Austin Martin from James Bond's movies uh, it was a Lego the set Alman, you can buy the Alman Martin. Um, no, I did not, but I, 
I thought you put this up because it was like a news story, but you're just asking for people to buy it for you? Well, no, not for me, for The Office. Right. I mean, I don't even, I, honestly, I'm not a huge James Bond fan. Yeah, I think neither am Nick I. would probably get the biggest kick out of it. But if you buy it, I'll build it. Much like Heather did. Hi, Kevin. Sorry uh, not to see my favorite KF member at RTX London this year. We get Sky Cam Cooper. But I hope this makes up a little bit. Makes up for it a little bit. Enjoy, Heather. Willie yeah. Hedge on Twitch. Little Holy Lego creator, a uh, double decker bus. Pretty I'm gonna cool. I'm going to build this bad boy for you right now. <laughs> Thank you for sending it in. Thanks for sending it to us, Heather. Um, I send it to me, though. People are asking for Kevin to get a timeout. Um, you can try. Come at me. You know what I mean? Come at him. Um, all right, well, that's the. Uh, I guess that's the last piece of news that really. Well, no, let's go into the big topic. <laughs> and when I say big topic, we're going to talk about it for, you know, maybe a minute and a half. Um, this is more of a, of a Greg Miller story because he came on when Nick and I talked about the last story about this. Can you bring it up, cool, Greg? DC streaming service will be a one-stop shop for its TV shows, movies, and comics. We talked about DC's service that they are now launching, um, and it is costing $74.99 a year. Um, do you think that's good enough value that you would give a shit to try to go for it? Dude, it's super upsetting because it's like, all right, so there's a DC streaming service, so how long till we have to get... Do we wait for the Disney one? Is the Disney one going to incorporate this? What is happening? Stop with all these goddamn streaming services. If you, so it's seven ninety nine a month, eight bucks a month. That's not bad. Or seventy five a year. If you pre order, you get an additional three months for free. Okay. According to this article from The Verge, um, the company will roll out its original series over the course of a year. The shows three live action: Titans, Doom Patrol, and Swamp Thing, and two animated series: Young Justice Outsiders and Harley Quinn. Will collectively bring enough new materials to the platform to release a new episode each week. Titans will lead the way when the service launches. Um, and speaking of Titans, Corey, can you go to the next news story? Um, this I'm is still our listening, segue I'm into. Totally still listening. We finally got our first glimpse at what the Titans universe will look like. And oh boy, does it look like shit! Does it not look like a fan film? It does. It. You know, I mean, it looks a lot like. Um, this is like Isma Hawk not done as good. Yeah, I think, in my yeah, opinion. I, I see. That's the thing. Um, I agree. I also think it, it's got Riverdale vibes to it, which I don't know. Hey, but they said the F you word. Know? They did. They said the F word. Dude, are you gonna watch? You wanna watch the little trailer? They said trailer? freak. Yeah, pop it up. Little trailer. Pop it up. Hope for we it. don't get a copyright strike. Hope for we it. don't get copyright. Yeah. What's up, dude? Uh, this is the trailer the chat wanted, not that glass one. Oh, uh, okay. No worries, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch this bad boy. I already watched it, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. We're doing this for the kids. Nosh just thinks this trailer looked dope. Mm -hmm. It looks very try hard, like trying to be too edgy. Yeah. yeah. Like, look how cool we are. We're modern. Well. Everything led me here to you. You're the boy from the circus. You got no place to hide. Why do they knot it together? And surely they would fly forward, right? They would just know. go straight in. I don't know. Please, can you help me? I do say we gotta rank those abs though. I hate this line. Where's Batman? Fuck Batman. Oh! 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 No, no, cool Greg! No, Holy fire. shit! Oh! I get it. You can control it. Oh, there's Beast Boy. We don't see his transformation though, because maybe the CGI isn't done yet. You don't know what I've become. What is that in the bird suit you think? Sometimes. Birdman. It feels It's Chris Anderson, the Birdman. He used to play for the Miami Heat. My mom says there's no such thing as monsters. I used to think that. I was wrong. I do like seeing her with a cloak on there, but... Has... It looks like a really, really good fan film on mm. YouTube that's trying to But what's get crazy some... is it's gonna have a season of a show, and like, there's gonna be a lot more of it. Sure, sure. And it just, it doesn't get me excited, but hey man, if you are excited, that's awesome. I'm very happy that people, a lot of people grew up with Teen Titans, so this is, uh, you know... I'm sure for a lot of people, they're not upset about this. Or, you know, 
Right. So, so good for them. Good for them. Um, good for them. Cool, Greg. Uh, you know what? I think it's time for all sorts of sports in 15 seconds. Roll the graphic. <laughs> All sorts of sports in 15 seconds time, guys. Kevin, you ready to time me? Yeah, I got a timer going. You gonna time me? All right, oh, ready? Sure, I got it going. Ready? All right, ready? Cool Greg brought the timer for me. And go. Kawhi Leonard was sent the fuck to Toronto. Get out of my life. I never want to see your face ever again. <laughs> uh, and Danny Green left. Danny Green, I miss you, man. You did so much for the Spurs. We appreciate you. Oh, uh, last night, the Overwatch League uh, playoffs continued. Um, the London Spitfire beat the Valiant. Uh, and the, uh, the, they are up one game to zero in a best of five. And the Fusion upset the New York Excelsior. And they are up one game to zero in a best of five, five as well. Uh, the winners between Spitfire and Valiant will face the winners between Fusion and Excelsior. I'm excited for it. Oh, shit, it's been 31 seconds. Fuck. All right. Uh, 33 seconds, so I got to take off 18 seconds for the next segment. Sure. Um, so, I mean, Nick's not here. You're the boss right now. Nick, well, you know, you're right. Of your own you know, life. That's a good point. Don't look at the screen, because maybe I only did 15 seconds. You never know. Yeah? Yeah, it says 33. Um... So yeah, that's the uh, that's the sports news for today. Thanks, Cool Greg. I think it was a great episode of all sorts of sports in 15 seconds. A lot of people are saying your best. I think I definitely think it's one of the best. Um, so yeah, the trade uh, went down finally. We got Kawhi out of here, uh, and I was very worried, Kevin. So you're not upset about that? No. Like jokes aside, like you no, you, you no, wanted no, no, him no. gone. No, well, it's at the well. It, it was inevitable. It, it's been an accepted thing in my life that he's going to be gone for mm. a while. Now I remember. It's just like, I do remember you saying that last season. Maybe even a season before that. Um, uh, it, it, like, yeah, he wants out. He wants out. I can tell. It's That's a, fine. it's a, yeah. I was calling it. Yeah, I was calling it. I saw this shit coming, Kev. He did. But the thing is, I was worried that we weren't gonna get a good goddamn thing from for him. You know what now, I mean? Now, how did that pan out? Because the other teams have a lot of leverage. The other teams know, Kevin. Look, your guy wants out. Mm -hmm. Regardless of when, of when we get him, we're gonna get him anyway. Mm -hmm. The Lakers are like, look, you want all these pieces for him. You can go ahead and ask for some of these pieces. We're not going to give you shit. Because he's going to come to us anyway. Yeah, yeah. In a year when his contract is up. And the Spurs are like, fuck, we got to find somebody or else we're going to lose this guy and not get a damn thing for him. Mm -hmm. So they traded him to the Toronto Raptors. The Toronto Raptors said, look, we'll trade you our best player, DeMar DeRozan. And we'll give you another player, a young player, uh, Jakob Pertle is his name. Mm -hmm. And we'll give you a first round draft pick. But you give us Kawhi Leonard and you give us Danny Green. The Spurs are like, sure, we'll take it. How does that work? Do the the players don't get to be like, I don't want to go there. They don't have a trade clause. Yeah, so Kawhi made it, Kawhi and his camp made it clear that he did not want to go to Toronto. He was like, I'm LA or bust. I dropped my koozie. He was like, LA or bust. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't care where you send me, it has to be LA though. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Spurs are like, no, fuck you, dude. <laughs> fuck you. Go to, straight <laughs> to hell. And uh. so so they sent his ass to Toronto and he said, I don't. I have no desire to play in Toronto. And they said, we don't care, dude. We do not care. That's You're going insane. to Toronto. You don't have a trade clause. You can't control your destination. Uh, and so, yeah, he'll be a Toronto Raptor next year. Now, will Does he... Does that bring you any joy? That he's going somewhere he doesn't want him? Oh, yes. Oh, it's so petty. It's yeah. the pettiest fucking move. But also, it keeps him away. It keeps him out of the Western Conference. Sure. Which, it doesn't matter. The Warriors are going to win again anyway. Yeah, but it keeps good. him away from playing the Spurs a lot. And I'm glad he's not going to be a Laker for now. He'll be a Laker next year. Maybe he'll be a Clipper. He'll be in LA next year. But I'm glad he's gone. God, uh, Lakers head says Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Lakers will finally be good again. It's been great for the seven years that they've been bad. Uh, it's been some of the best times of my life. But they'll be good again. It was a long time coming. Uh, so yeah, that's my 15 seconds of sports. I think I went like two seconds over, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, oh. Joey's here. Oh, okay. D Joey, are you sad that Manny Machado, fantastic baseball player from the Orioles, got traded to the Dodgers? Um, I'm not that sad because the Dodgers still aren't going to be able to win anything. So. Damn, shots Damn. fired, King Franchise. Damn. Shots Take fired. that, dog. Joey did a little facial expression as if she was on camera, but, <laughs> but she wasn't. But, dude, that's the good thing. You yeah. always got to do that because you don't know when you're going to be on camera. Yeah. You know what I mean, guys? Especially here. Like, 
who knows? Maybe that fan has a camera in it. I'm, I'm not. I don't know what Kevin does. Joey, we set up a bunch of stuff everywhere, so you never know. Mm -hmm. You never know. Uh, Ignacio Ross just said Spurs sucks. So I'm going to time him out for 30 seconds. Uh, get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, let's uh, let's bring up. Um, it's already like the end of the show. Let's get into. Uh, do you want to do the giveaway, Kevin? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Did you so do for PS the I Love This Best Friend? PS I Love This Best Friend oh, XO will order? be the first thing we can go to. Yeah, we'll um, mix it up a little bit. PS I Love cool. This Best Friend XOXO. Uh, you can go to kindoffunny.com slash best friend to nominate who you think is doing good shit in the community. Uh, we are currently shouting out Sancho West. Oh! Sancho West, who, you, if you watched my stream the other day, we got a dub together. We've been tearing up the Fortnite uh, landscape for years, dude. It's mm. been like five or six years that we've been dominating it. Um, but kind of funny, best friend Sancho West has been invited to participate in the week two of Fortnite's summer skirmish tomorrow, which what does is that mean? insane. It's this big competition that Fortnite puts up. Is that the, the um, one that where you win 500k? Why? Yeah, not not the Keemstar one. Okay, not okay. that guy. Okay, this okay. is this is Fortnite's own thing. Uh, so check That's out exciting. Twitch.tv slash Sancho West. Nick will probably say not to check him out because Nick gave him a subscription. Nick subscribed to Sancho West with Twitch Prime. It's such and a bold move that Sancho, Sancho has just been like, hey, still hasn't thanked him. Yeah, so I like it. I like it. That's I a love bold it. move. Sancho, I'm proud of you. It's a power move for yeah. sure. Uh, but yeah, check it out. 2 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow on Twitch.tv slash Sancho West. Uh, he will be competing and he's very, very good at Fortnite. He plays on PS4 and he often clowns out people on PC. Uh, uh -huh. It's very impressive. Um, so check that out. Uh, and we'll do the giveaway. We uh, there's four ways to win the giveaway, Kevin. You can be in Twitch chat right now with us, or you could be a Twitch subscriber to twitch.tv slash kind of funny games right here. What do you get as a subscriber? You get all these new emotes that I made. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of new emotes going up. Uh, there's, there will be a lot more coming. So if you're a subscriber, not only do you get those emotes, you get no ads. You get you get to watch an ad free. Except we'll we still read an ad. Yeah, we'll yeah, still yeah. read Except an we ad. Them in. Yeah, uh, but you won't get the little pop up thing that that sort of interrupts your whole showing. Um, and then the ways three and four, you could be a subscriber on patreon.com slash kind of funny or patreon.com slash kind of funny games at the two dollar or above level, the giveaway level. You'll see it there. And if you support us on Patreon, uh, I'll give you a kiss. Don't make promises you're not going to keep. Cool, we're going to get the one. I'll give you a kiss. Um, so right now, uh, the giveaway goes to G Rant Walby or maybe Grant. G Oh, okay. Grant. <laughs> it's Grant Walby from the Kind of Funny Games Patreon. He wins the Crew 2 on PS4. Um, mm. uh, so congrats there, Grant Walby. Uh, thanks for being a supporter on patreon.com slash kind of funny games. Uh, so that's uh, the giveaway. Just a heads up, with the Crew 2, you can't switch the controls to... Uh, first, inverted. Inverted. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Um... Let's go into uh, let's go into the three and three, and then we'll end this show. Oh, tips, subs. I forgot to read oh, tips. Oh, right, right, right. I'm sorry, Cool Greg. Can you bring that up on Muxy there? Unless you have access. We to may that not one. even have tips, so who knows? Yeah, I mean, we like. It looks like we have one tip. We have one that's tip all, from that's Shane. All we deserve, huh? Five dollars. <laughs> uh, and remember, if you tip us five dollars or above, Cool Greg, can I get, get the one? I'll kiss you. <laughs> Um, Shane tipped $5 and he says, what's up guys? Always happy to see my favorite Latinos on the morning show. Would you guys mind sharing my petition for my local theater to all the best friends out there? Wait, what's a petition for? Like to, to make it keep, to stay in business? Can you open up that, that first link, Cool Greg? Oh, but there's also I hope it's not a lemon play. party. Okay. Bring Cowboy Bebop the movie, the theatrical version, to Canadian theaters August. Okay, so I guess they're showing... The movie August fifteenth and sixteenth, and maybe they're not taking it there. I don't know. You want to? You want to yell out? The, you can put that in chat. Link? You can put that in chat if you want, Cool Greg. I feel like we have a rule I feel like against every, that typically. Yeah, but hey, you know, the dad's away and the kids will the kids will have fun all they want. Hell you know? yeah, dude. I'm so this is a. Uh, um, I think the whole world needs to have more Cowboy Bebop all the time. That's what I've heard. That's yeah. what I've heard you say many, many times. So pop that bad boy in there, and let's open up this fun link, ca uh, Cool Greg. Um, let's. I, it better be good. It better be fucking good. We have we do have a fun clips emote that's on the way. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let, let's we'll, watch. Let's watch. Yeah, it turn quick. on the volume and let's watch it real quick. Yeah. Um. Uh, I kind of see where this is going. This is too long. I'm sorry. This is a long video. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you guys are 
saying no? I'm saying no. Yeah, I'll say no. Just because it's a personal wall. friend of ours, and, you know, it's kind of, you know. I'm not feeling a chain. I'm sorry about that. But I hope your movie gets Cowboy Bebop. Um, you hope your theater. Is that what I said? No, you said movie gets Cowboy Bebop. I hope your friend gets Cowboy Bebop. Uh, so thanks for that. Um, I guess we can go into the three and three. Cue up your questions, comments, concerns, compliments. I saw a question for Kevin from uh, One Last Word. It says, yo, Kevin, how do you feel about Nex, K-N-E-X? There's a dope roller coaster you need to build. Kinex. Kinex, oh, no. Sorry, sorry. No, no, that's good. Uh, I don't respect Kinex. My buddy Mike Guerra had Kinex, my best friend of all time. And I hate Mike. And I was like, Mike, get these fucking connects out of my face, yeah, dude. Give me some fucking real Legos. You give know what me I mean? some spaceship Legos. Give me some underwater sea adventure Legos where I'm creating uh, dude, you those know, intricate sea labs. Legos were so cool yes. with the little suits that like yes. you know. They are the coolest fucking thing in the world. Mike Guerra, mm -hmm. get out of my face, but I love you, man, and I've known you forever. And uh, I've known you I've known him for twenty seven. You miss years. him? Twenty seven years. You miss him? I do, yeah. Lives in LA. Let him know, dude. Stop being so oh, scary remember I went to his wedding instead of your bachelor oh, party. Oh, you I yeah. hate you, Mike. Um, Andy, um, let's see you. Um, open mouth kisses only, otherwise no $5 for you. We can do open mouth kiss, mm -mm. Ken. Mm -mm. You hit me up. Hit me the fuck up. Um, let's see here. Um, Andy, do you think the Blazers will fuck up their relationship with Dame? Oh, it's bound to happen. It's a matter of time before Dame tries to piece out of that Who's city. Dame? What's up with Dame? Damian Lillard. Great player for the Blazers. Yeah. But it's getting to the point where he's like, look, I want to win. So he'll probably go to the Warriors like everybody else does. Mm. Uh, Sugar Free Daddy says, shut up, Andy. Nailed it, dude. All right, I guess you're getting timed out, Sugar Free Daddy. Sugar Free Daddy. Um, <laughs> you're going to get timed out for... Sarah, me, I'm not gonna read ten, ten seconds. Is Greg's panel going to be broadcasting anywhere? Uh, I don't think so. That sounds like a Joey question. Joey! She doesn't know. Sorry, guys. I don't That's think sort of it technology. is. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because it's For the, the most part, thing. Yeah, the whole, the, those panels don't get broadcasted, and everyone just wants to see it and have to wait years. Yeah, the news really leaks and out, shit. Yeah. The news leaks and shit. <laughs> Zyger time about Sugar Free Daddy also. I already got him, Zyger. I appreciate the hustle, though. Zyger, Zyger. we're having to time you out. Hall H line is no joke, says Juski 2 k uh, Let's switch to sub-only mode. Uh, do you know how to do that? Sub... Sub, uh, hold on, um, sub in for lub in, here we sub go, uh, sub a lub a dub dub, let's see if that works, hopefully, sub a lub You know what I just found out today? What's up? What'd you find out, Kev? Okay, Google. You're gonna make my phone go off, bitch. Wub a lub a dub dub. Person. You hear that? Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, man, that's pretty rad. That's funny. And it does different things. Um, we are in sub mode. Thank you for that, Zagger. Have you guys seen Beyond Meat? It's fake meat that bleeds. What the fuck are you talking about? It's uh, I have. Horrifying. I'm very interested in it. I had conversations uh, with it with my wife about it. Kevin, what's the best thing you ever made with Legos? Asks Lexi Gunner. Lexi Gunner in the chat. It's a tough one, man. It is, right? I ha I guess. One that you gave me at my house, though. Oh, the Batman. Oh, the Batmobile? The Batmobile? The Batmobile was definitely the dopest, but I think the best, like, that's reminiscent of my childhood, and that was the Ninja Fortress. It was sick, dude. Somewhere, Kevin, there's a photo of me with a robot that I made, and I took several photos of me to submit to the Lego magazine for, like, the user-created section. Yeah, I'm familiar with the user-created yeah, section. Yeah, and it, it's, like, me with, like, a little, like, fucking, I don't know, Old Navy or Oshkosh Bagosh polo, and I'm holding, like, a little robot that has, like, these arms sticking out. Mm -hmm. Somewhere that photo exists, and I think it's back home uh, in the RGB. Or I say submit no it still, you know what I mean? There we go. Um, Thank Andy, you so much, Heather, for Andy, can we get a over. Grito emote? Probably. Look at that. Good job, mm -hmm. Kevin. Yeah, hey, look at that. Hey, uh, don't drop it off the edge. I swear to God. I'm Andy, can you please sing Intocable or La Mafia or Cubian Kings? Si lo livé, lo livaron. Si lo quité, lo quitaron. Um, all right, that'll be the last question. Um, Is it? I think so, yeah. I think so. Uh... Shaw Doggy says, shout outs to Bionicles, though. Can we get the, uh, the uh, Skycam, cool, Greg? I'll let that stand. Bionicles okay. were dope. 
Oh, boy, Bionicles were fucking awesome. Bionicle is like a new... Why am I saying that weird? Bionicle. Bionicles were like kind of going through puberty. Like they it was, were. They were, it was yeah. your, It was like going from Cartoon Network to Toonami. Yes, you know 100%. What I mean? And it was like, you know, these are a little cooler. Than oh just my Legos. God, I felt so badass yeah. with those, yeah. all the different Bionicles. Because I was so into like elemental things. Sure. Just like I was into the Snapple drinks. Dude, I was about to bring that up. Yeah, you Good were. Call. Good morning, Woo! show. Everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for Mike and Mike, Snowbike Mike and Cheeks Jr. coming up after this on Kind of Funny Games Daily. We love you. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like. Uh, follow Kevin at Kind of Funny Kevin. I'm Maximum Cortez. That's kind of cool, Greg, behind the set. And have a fantastic Thursday evening. Remember, we tried our best. We tried our best. So if you didn't like it, I'm so sorry.